I'm here with my friend Luthea. Hi! She's got a channel called Girly Frame here on YouTube and today we thought we would do a series of spring DIYs. So on my channel we're going to be DIYing some glasses to make some cool vases to put flowers and things in. Here's an example of a pretty succulent. And then on my channel we're going to do a bit of a DIY disorganization for spring cleaning and all that. So now we're going to get into DIYing some vases and I hope you enjoy it. You can use whatever spare glasses or jars you have in your house for this DIY or you can do what I did and head to a thrift store and buy some really cheap ones from there. You'll also need some DIY supplies like spray paint and glue and a few other things but I'll go into detail on them in each DIY. First up we're going to mimic that copper dipped look that's in all of the homeware stores at the moment. Take some white satin finish spray paint and cover a glass entirely. Once it's dry, paint some PVA glue at the level that you want the dipped look to go up to and then cover it generously with copper glitter. I'll leave links down below to the exact supplies that I bought on Amazon for all of the DIYs if you're interested in that. Just keep repeating that process all the way around the glass and you can always fill in any patchy bits with the second coat once the first one is dried. I planted a little succulent in mine and set it on my desk and the plant is still alive so yay. I think this one is an interesting sparkly take on that copper dipped trend but if you did want something a little bit less flashy then I can show you how to make that as well. Stick a line of washi tape around a glass and then cover the rest up with tissue paper so that the base is the only exposed area on the glass. Then taking some copper spray paint, cover the whole base in copper. And when you take the tissue paper and tape off you'll be left with a slightly jagged line because the tape doesn't go around corners very well but to fix that just take a craft knife and carefully chip away at any of the jagged bits. You'll be left with a copper dipped glass that looks pretty much exactly like a bought one and is so easy and cheap to make. Option 2 uses the glitter again, but this time up the top of the vase. Lou and I painted streaks of glue around the top of this glass jar in a purposefully messy way so that it would look like the glitter was kind of dripping down the sides. And then we covered all of the glue with that same copper glitter as before. And we're left with this cool looking vase that I planted a flower in to brighten up our living room. And I really love the contrast of the glitter and then the dirt inside the jar. I don't know, I think it looks really cool. This next one is probably my favourite. It uses spray paint to make an ombre effect. I took some bright yellow spray paint and sprayed it at a right angle at the base of a mason jar. Because of the way the paint sprays out of the can, you'll end up with a natural ombre effect without even really trying to achieve it. It just happens because that's how spray paint works. I don't know, I hope you can see what's happening here. I love this one so much that I did it using white on this tall thin vase as well. I love how these ones turned out and Lou and I were both pretty surprised at how easy it was to get this result so definitely give it a try. We're breaking out the copper spray paint again for a chevron print next. We made this pattern by cutting washi tape into equal sized pieces and sticking it in a chevron pattern around the vase. Then I filled the vase with newspaper and tissue paper to keep the paint from getting inside and covered it with the copper. Then you just peel the tape off and you've got a cool new decor piece. And you could use this washi tape technique to mask off any patterns or shapes that you want to really. I just love chevron prints so that's what I went with. Last but not least is the stained glass DIY using glass paint and nail polish remover. Pour some of the glass paint into a jar and add a little bit of nail polish remover just to thin the paint out a little bit and make it easier to swish around inside the jar. It's best to do this one in a jar that has a lid, so maybe an old tomato sauce container or something like that. So that way you can put the lid on and shake the paint about inside to get the glass completely coated. It will look really patchy and dark at this stage, but just leave it to dry for a few days and you are left with a totally waterproof coloured glass vase. The glass paint that I use will be linked below along with everything else if you guys want to copy this one. And you can get lots of different colours, but I just chose purple because it matches my room. So those are all of the vase DIYs we have to show you. We had a lot of fun making them, didn't we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> Let us know down below which your favourite one is that we made, because that will be interesting to hear. Make sure you head on over to Lou's channel and check out the desk organisation spring cleaning video. And I will see you next time. Bye! Bye.